Pavla Kengalak or Pavel Kengalak. Pavla Kengalak traces his family roots to the legendary founder of Kikanda. Military frontier captain Risto Kengalak. Pavla's father Ristifa and mother Jevrasima were all born in the Pomorish region. Better known as Krajina. Pavla Kengalak studied at the Evangelical Lyceum in Bratislava and Kesmarok where his professors were philosophers and scholars Jan Juraj Streko, mathematician and physicist Stefan Sabel and historian Stefan Fabry. That Protestant school nurtured religious tolerance and offered a broad cameralist education as well the study of Latin, German, Hungarian and Slovino-Serbian, Russian Slavonic, languages, grammar, rhetorics, mathematics, physics, natural science, geography, history, and philosophy. In 1790 Kengalak enrolled at the Theological Seminary in the Alexander Nevsky Lavra, later called St. Petersburg Theological Academy, and from there went to the University of Halle where his teachers included August Hermann Niemeyer, Johann Salomo Semler, Friedrich Albrecht Karl Gren, Johann August Nosselt and Johann Augustus Eberhard. He was awarded the Doctor of Laws at the inauguration ceremonies in 1794, together with a sword as a gift from Frederick William III of Prussia. He returned to his homeland and opened a law practice. It was a time when there were a few vociferous folks on both sides such as Vuk Karadzic advocating a purely popular language and Pavla Kengalak favoring a complete acceptance of Slavonic Serbian, then in literary use, and those in the middle who sought to reform, though in a compromising manner. Kengalak was a composite of Hungarian-Serbian merchant, intellectual with an international education, Germany and Russia, in natural science, law theology, and astronomy. He became an Archimandrite later in life. After Kengalak wrote about astronomy in Estest for Slovi, Natural History, Buddha, 1811, poet Eustachia Arsic dedicated a part of her Pelesnaya Rasmuslienye o Satiri Godisnivra Mene, Useful Reflections on the Four Seasons, to Astronomy. Geographical investigations in the territory of Voivodina had a rather early start. Among the first concerned with her geography may be noticed Pavla Kengalak, a natural scientist and historian, who studied abroad. His main work, Estest for Slovi, contains many valuable elements of interest for the scientific geographical field. One of the few intellectuals of his day, the Serbian Archimandrite of the Sveti Jurad Monastery, then part of the Habsburg Empire. Pavla Kengalak adhered to the ideology of enlightenment and deism as the prevailing philosophy of the 18th century. It is known that the aim of this philosophy was to reconcile contemporary scientific achievements with the official theology. This movement resulted from the intensive study of nature and its phenomena. So it included a broad circle of scientists of that time and acquired a very broad range of followers. Archimandrite Kengalak expressed his adherence to this movement in his work Gestest for Slavije. Natural History. Published in Buda in 1811. Kengalik's work faced resistance in the top circles of the Metropolitanate of Karlovci, including the Metropolitan himself, Stefan Stratomirovich. One of the many reasons for that was insidiousness and personal animosity of the mentioned Metropolitan towards the man who wanted to be recognized. Even more important reasons were the activities of the conservative top circles of the Austrian state administration and of the Vienna court itself. 
as well as the Metropolitan Stratomiroviks fear to arouse anger in these circles and fall into disgrace himself. Kenga Lak is best known for his Estest Vaslovi, Buddha, 1811, and Visaminago Sabitajaslavia, Cast, Pervia, Buddha, 1821. He also wrote many pamphlets and articles in newspapers.